Welcome back, another episode. In addition to Bombshell Revelations, the first half of Station 19's season finale hinted at one last high-stakes episode that would bring the firefighter drama to a spectacular close. Similar to earlier monumental tasks that put Station 19's firefighters in danger, Station 19 Season 7, Episode 9, did not let fans down. The episode teased several stories introduced in Season 7 and beyond, and laid the groundwork for an intensely dramatic conclusion. The fabric of Station 19 was already in danger due to life going on, but the impending wildfire in Seattle raised the stakes significantly. In addition to being an action-packed episode of Station 19, Season 7, Episode 9 also hinted at the possible future paths of the Station 19 family. Having only partially resolved major plot points such as Vic's role as Crisis One's leader and Natasha and Sully's now secure relationship, Station 19 Season 7, Episode 9, set up a path for all of its characters, letting their multi-season storylines pay off wonderfully if Station 19's firefighters were to survive the wildfire and fire tornado of Station 19 Season 7, Episode 10. The episode hinted at new recruits possibly joining Station 19 in the future as well as old ones returning to their rightful spot. Vic's victory in Crisis 1 signals the end of an era. Vic's journey to become a firefighter was always one of the most unique in Station 19, and a significant portion of her story in Season 6 concentrated on her lack of enthusiasm for her work, despite the fact that she liked it and considered it essential. Vic's decision to lead Crisis 1 on a national scale demonstrates how far he has come. From someone who firmly supported the initiative but didn't feel qualified to lead it, to someone who is synonymous with it and has assimilated its most important lessons, making them accessible to all Seattle firefighters. Vic's incapacity to adapt to change and his history of making other people's news about him made Travis the only person who may have been hesitant about his cross-country move. Given how frequently they dealt with upsetting changes in this way, their fight in Station 19 Season 7, Episode 9, was also evidence that Travis would have eventually wrapped his head around Vic moving away, since past betrayals painfully prevented him from speaking to Vic at all. Chief Ross's decision to leave the probies with Andy advances the most logical conclusion to the tale of Station 19 Season 7, especially in light of Natasha's description of them as the greatest new recruits, which inspired Chief Ross to leave them with Andy. Even though Andy was only an interim captain at Station 23, Chief Ross had already recognized her potential as a captain. However, what they accomplished as a team demonstrated how much more they could enhance SFD, and Natasha was confident that Andy would have carried out her plan. Theo gets hurt while trying to save Travis. Tragically, one of Station 19's most heartbreaking tales was revisited when Theo put himself in great risk in order to save Travis. After Theo and Vic started dating, Travis and Theo's relationship had nearly returned to how it had been before Michael passed away. Although the two had avoided one another for years because of Theo's mistakes as captain, which ultimately resulted in Michael's death. Theo was more eager to give his life to save Travis because he was the one in more danger from the falling branch than he would have been for anybody else. The wildfire that was growing in Station 19 Season 7, Episode 9, presented the firemen with a number of potentially fatal situations, particularly since Theo's life was in jeopardy due to his injuries and Maya was separated from Andy by the flames. Given the tragic deaths that Station 19 has experienced throughout the years, it makes sense to think that any character could be in danger. For more videos, subscribe.